Hi, in this module I'm going to show you how to work with custom bullets. I'll show you how to add a picture bullet to a list. I'll show you how to add a picture bullet that you've received to the bullet library. And then I'll show you how to remove any custom bullets from the library that you no longer need. Keep in mind that you can create a custom picture or symbol bullet at any point to enhance or personalize your bulleted list. I like to use custom bullets to draw attention to what the list is about. For instance, I'm showing you here how to create a custom bullet with pictures in Word, so I've changed my bullet icon to a picture that symbolizes Word. So at this time, let's go ahead and add a picture bullet to a list. So I'm going to switch over to a different document that has my bulleted list that I want to update. So here's my list. It's a list of folders to be included with a rollout. So to enhance it a little bit, I want to change the bullet from the dot to a folder. To add a custom picture as a bullet, what you need to do first is click within your list. So I've got my cursor in here. Then we'll come up to the Home tab. It's in the paragraph group where the bullets are. So once we see the bullet icon, we're going to click on the down arrow, which is going to pull up the details for the bullets. At this point, we're going to navigate to the bottom where it says Define New Bullet. Once I click there, it's going to pull up the Define New Bullet dialog box. From here, I have the ability to add a symbol, a picture, or a font. Now because I'm going to add the folder picture, I'm going to click Picture. Once I click on Picture, it's going to bring up the Insert Pictures dialog. From here, I can insert a picture from file, whether it's on my computer or a local network, or I can do a Bing search on the web to search for a picture, or I can go to my personal OneDrive to grab it. I've got the file on my computer, so I'm going to click Browse from a file. It's going to take me out so I can navigate on my computer to find the file. So you navigate to wherever you have the file stored. Once you find it, click on it, It'll add it to the File Names area, and then you can click Insert. Now if I look within the Preview area, you can see it's got my file picture listed for the bullets. If I'm good with the way it looks, I'll click OK, and now it updates the list within my document. So you can see by changing the picture from just a regular bullet to a picture, it actually enhances your list. Another way that you can add a picture to your bulleted list is to add it from a document you receive. So if somebody sends you a bulleted list and it's got a cool icon that they're using for a bullet, you can add that to your library as well. So I'm going to navigate over to another list. Here I've got a list of search options. And for the bullet picture, it's got a folder with a search magnifying glass on it. This is what I want to add to my list. Go to the Home tab, the Paragraph group, and click on the down arrow for bullet. Come down to Document Bullets, and here's my search folder. I'll do a right click on it and tell it to add it to my library. Now when I click on my down arrow and look at my bullet library, I can see it's added there. And here's the one that I had created on the last example. If you decide at some point there's pictures within your bullet library that you no longer need, you can remove them. Go to the Home tab, the Paragraph group, click the down arrow for bullet, navigate to the bullet library, Find the bullet you no longer want, do a right click on it, and tell it to remove. And it removes it from the library. So that's how you can add a custom bullet to your bullet list, add a custom bullet to your library, and then also remove bullets from your library. Remember, working with bullets is on the Home tab, the Paragraph group, and the bullet icon. All you need to do is click on the down arrow, and you've got all of the information here.